Good morning, everyone. Hello. How is everyone doing this morning? Hopefully you are having a good day so far. Enjoying the first bit of this long weekend. I am just going to switch over to my page here, make sure that you are in fact seeing me. Just be a moment while I bring this up. Where are we? There we are. And scroll down so I can see your comments. All right. Hello again. Thanks for joining me. Today, we are going to be making these two cards. Actually, I should introduce myself just in case you're new here today. My name is Jen Brierley from Stamping with Jen. And obviously, you found my Facebook page, but there's also a blog called stampingwithjen.ca. Um, and yeah, today we're going to make a couple of cards for the men in our lives. Father's Day is next month, so I figured it was a good time to make a couple of guy cards, quote unquote. So these are the ones we're going to use or make today using the well-suited suite. And I will show you that. So this is the stamp set. It's really cute. Couple of regular ties, couple of bow ties, and some great sentiments there. And then there's also a set of dies that coordinates with it there. And you'll see today we're going to use a bunch of these. Get that out of the way there. So this V and this one are made or used to make the suit front. And then this cuts out um, the regular ties and the bow ties. And then you can do a pocket and buttons and suspenders and collars and all sorts of things with it. It's fun. So we're going to be using a bunch of those today. All right, let's start with this one. So for this one, you are going to need uh, basic weight cardstock that's eight and a half by five and a half and scored in the middle. And I'm just going to fold that over. And as usual, my bone folder is in the other room. One of these Saturdays, I'm actually going to remember to have it here. Okay, so I'm just using my stamp block. And that way it just stays folded nicely. You're going to need a couple pieces of designer paper. I'm using the well suited designer paper. And so this one is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then another piece of the same, you don't have to this the first piece is going to form the basis of our suit here, and the second piece is this color. So it doesn't have to be the same, but I did it the same one. And I must apologize, I may have put wrong measurements on my list of supplies. So this piece needs to be four and three quarters by three and a half. Right. So if you've got a different size for this, once again, it should be for this smaller piece of designer paper, four and three quarters by three and a half. So if you don't have that, please take a second to go do that. And I apologize if I had that wrong. Um, I've got a piece of Cajun Craze cardstock that's three inches by one and three quarter inches. And then three more little pieces of basic white. One is two and a, uh, excuse me, two and three quarters by one and a half. One of them is two and one quarter by one and one quarter. And the last one is two inches by one inch. So that's all our bits and pieces for today. And let's get started. So we want this bigger piece of the designer paper. It's the one that's five and a half by four and a quarter. So it actually should be the same size as your card front. And then we're gonna get our dies out. And for this, we want this one that's just the V, oh, that guy's sliding around, let's put that away. So this one that's just the, the V shape. And what we're gonna do is just run this piece through the die cutting machine with this centered on it. And it's gonna cut out this V shape like you would have on a suit jacket. So let's just run this through the die cutting machine. You don't have to worry about measuring. You can measure if you want to make sure it's exactly centered, but I'm not measuring. I'm just eyeballing it. It'll be close enough. 
put that on there. And my cover on and I'll run that through. Okay. Take that off of there and put these guys back. And I didn't get my scissors. Let me just grab my scissors really quickly. These are actually my kitchen scissors, not my official paper snips, but they'll do. So I didn't have the die quite all the way to the top, but that's okay. We'll just use the scissors to snip that last little bit there. Okay, and then this piece um, can just, you can use that on another project if you want. Could be a tree, I don't know, anyway. Nope, I've got one little bit there. I'm just gonna tidy that up. There we go. All right, so. This guy is gonna go on our card front. I'm just gonna get my double-sided adhesive. And I'm just gonna run this, I'm gonna go all around the outside like normal, but I'm also gonna run it down and up this V here, because we wanna make sure that that sticks. So run that around the outside. Oh. That one ran out, that's okay. I've got my other one right here. There we go. I suspected that was gonna run out, so I came prepared today. There we go. This side, a little bit at the top. And hi, Maria, good morning. How are you? Thanks for joining. How's the weather down in California? Is it sunny California today? And a bit of adhesive just inside the V here. There we go. Okay, so then we want our white card front. And you can either start with the top or start with the bottom, but either way, just pick one end and kind of get that lined up. Can you see that? Let me move it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna make sure the edge of my designer paper matches the edge of my cardstock. And then one at a time, I'm gonna lay these flaps down and make sure it goes up the side of the cardstock. And then on this side, make sure it lines up along this side. There. Ooh, sunny for the rest of the week is nice. We're supposed to have rain here for the next week. Eh. It is after all a rainforest, so I guess I can't say too much because you know, I'm the one living in the rainforest. All right, so there is our suit front. So the next thing we wanna do is add these lapels. So we want our other piece of designer paper and go back to our dies. And we're gonna get this guy. Let's put my V back on there. So now you want the one that looks like this. And this is gonna make this lapel for the jacket. And so again, we're just gonna center this on the paper and run it through. Just over here through my die cutting machine. Okay, put the top on and send it on through. There we go. And in this case, you don't have to worry about whether or not it went to the top because it actually just leaves you with this piece, which I'll show you properly in one second. Let me get this out of my way. So now you should have a piece like this. I'm just gonna put my die back over there. And so this piece is going to go like this. Now you'll notice that when you just kind of set it, it doesn't really look like it's gonna line up, but it will, I promise. We'll just, when we put the glue on, we can just make sure that we move that over. So speaking of glue, for this, I'm gonna use my Tombow adhesive. Any multi-purpose glue will work for you. And I'm gonna just 
run it up and you don't need a lot, just a little tiny bit. And then I'll put a bit more on these larger sections and run it up the edge there and a bit more here. And last but not least, I'm gonna put just a tiny little drop at the bottom. Okay, and now the challenge is picking it up without getting the glue all over your fingers, which is, I don't think it's actually possible to not get any glue on your fingers. All right, so let's line up the bottom of the V with the bottom of the white there. And now we'll make sure that this lines up. So we want the edge of the lapel to line up with the edge of the V that we cut in our other layer of designer paper. And that's why I'm using the Tombow because we can move it around a bit. So there, we'll move that over there. And so once you get it lined up, then just gently press down on that. There we go. Hello, Glenda, good morning. All right, so we've got that. If a little bit of glue did get on there, you can just use your finger to rub that off. I know it looks terrible, but just give me, I'm just gonna pick it up, but just give me a second and we can rub that off. How's things in Port Alberni today, Glenda? Hmm, you know what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get my adhesive remover for that. You ladies don't mind hanging on for half a second. I will be right back. And I'm back. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think you can get this from Stampin' Up! anymore, but if you can find one somewhere, it just rubs the adhesive off and it's brilliant. Okay. There. Nobody saw that. We're fine. Okay. Let's continue building our shirt. Oh, overcast in Port Alberni. It's starting to be sunny here, so the sun should be heading your way, in theory. All right, so the next piece of this shirt we're gonna do is this collar of our shirt. So we want this piece of white that is two and a quarter by one and a quarter. And then back to our dies. Let me just kind of stick that guy back down. We want this sort of funny shaped one. I know it, it looks kind of odd, but that's gonna be the collar for our shirt. So we'll just center that on our piece of white and run it through. A bit of die cutting for this, but it's worth it because it's so cute at the end. Okay, get that centered on my little piece of white cardstock and run that through. Dollar store has them. Okay, there we go. So if you're looking for an adhesive remover, Dollar store has them. Put that over there and oh, I can't pick this up today. There we go. And I'm just gonna set my little die back here one moment there. So now we've got this kind of funny little shaped piece of white, but if you put it in the center here, Okay, let me show you which way it goes, that would help. So if you hold it like this, you'll see that there's a V, a big V, and it comes to points and the other side is flat. So if you've got it upside down, you'll have points at the top. It looks almost like a capital letter M, right? So you've got flat at the bottom and points at the top, that's upside down, you want it this way around. So you have the points at the bottom and flat at the top. And this flat portion is what's gonna go at the top of your card to form the shirt collar. And so again, I'm just gonna get my Tombow and I'll just put a little bit on here. And you don't need very much of this. It's a really good glue. So it sticks really well. And also if you have too much, then it will squish out onto the rest of your project. So don't use too much and pick it up without getting glue on your fingers, I dare you. All right, 
And we will drop this down there. And again, because the Tombow is liquid, you can kind of move this around a little bit. And once you've got it where you want it, press down. There, and that's gonna stay there. Okay, next step, we need our smallest piece of uh, white cardstock. This is the one that's two inches by one inch. And we're actually gonna do some stamping now, yay. So I use, there's two bow ties in here. And for this card, I use this one with the stripes on it. Um, if you wanna use the bigger one, you can, but you'll need a slightly bigger piece of cardstock. Lock here. And I just used Knight of Navy. It's one of the colors that coordinates with this set of designer paper. Just in case anybody watching this doesn't already know, when you have your designer paper, I don't have a pack here to show you, but you look at one side and you can see the one piece of paper that's in the front, flip it over and there's a white um, piece of cardboard in the back and on that it will tell you what colors coordinate with that paper. So if you didn't know that's where you look to find out what colors coordinate. And that's how I discovered that this is not actually red. It's Cajun craze. Okay, so ink up our stamp with our Knight of Navy and stamp that kind of in the middle there. There we go. Clean off my stamp, get my ink out of the way and put my stamp out of the way. And one more bit of die cutting. So in the set of dies, you'll see there's two bow tie dies. One is slightly larger than the other. This one that this tie with the stripes is the smaller die. If you did the tie with the polka dots, you want the slightly larger die. Okay, and lean over one more time to my die cutting machine here. Cut out this bow tie. Get that all lined up there. And run that through. Is it just me or does anybody else think of pirate movies when I say run that through? And they always threaten to do that in pirate movies. It's probably just me. Anyway. All right, scrap paper off to the side. Put our die back in there, and there's our cute little bow tie. And I use Tombow again on this guy. You could use any adhesive, it's just the Tombow I find is handy. So we'll just put a little bit on there. And on the other side. Okay, and so this tie is gonna be just kind of centered over the collar. So you've got that V at the bottom of your collar. You're just going to kind of center your bow tie over that. And so you can have it down lower if you want. So there's a little gap between the top of the tie and the bottom of the collar. Let me pick this up closer so you can see. So I can have it kind of down there or I can move it up a bit. So I like mine being up a bit. So the knot from the tie kind of the knot from the tie is gonna sit in that V there, like so. And there's our bow tie. So we've built our suit. We just wanna put a sentiment on the front. So for this, I will go back to my stamp set and I'm using this one that says, have a, have a happy Father's Day handsome. If you're not gonna do a Father's Day card, you can just use the birthday sentiment. And put that on my block. And this one I stamped in Memento Black. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp here. Make sure I get the whole thing. And center that the best I can. There we go. Clean off my stamp and put it away. And then we need our piece of Cajun craze. That's the layer for our sentiment. So for this, I'm gonna use double-sided adhesive on the back of the sentiment. Get that around the edge there. 
like so. And center this on our piece of Cajun craze. Good. And then I'm actually gonna use dimensionals to put this on the card. So I'll get some dimensionals on the back of this. No, oh, maybe if I can get them off the backing. Ha, they're fighting with me. There we go. And one in the middle to make sure the middle doesn't sink in. Take the backing off those. There. And obviously, it's your card, so you get to put the sentiment wherever you want. If you want it down lower, that's fine. I chose to kind of just center mine on the card here, like so. And there is card number one finished. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. I, oh, I thought I had a bit of glue, but I don't. Okay, there we go. And I'll give you just a second to finish off yours. And then we're gonna move on to card number two. I have to say, I really like, I, I like bow ties. So I think this one's really cute. Okay, for this one, we need, it's a bunch of little bits for this one, but it actually goes together really easily. So we need our basic white for our base, eight and a half by five and a half. And fold that in the middle and run my knot bone folder along the crease to keep it flat. There we are. Okay. So then we also need a piece of designer series paper that's five and a half by four and a quarter. And yes, that is going to cover the entire front of your cardstock. So that's how you know you got the right size. We need a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock that is two and three quarter wide by three and three quarter high. A different piece of designer paper. That's two and a half wide by three and a half high. And then three little pieces, all the same size. This is going to form our bow ties. And these are two inches by one inch each. All of them are this size. One more piece of Knight of Navy that's two and a quarter by one and a quarter. And last but not least, a little piece of white that's two inches by one inch. So that's all our bits and pieces. So the first thing we can do is apply this to our cards. So we're just going to run our double-sided adhesive around the perimeter of this guy. Okay, and we'll put this on our card front. I'm just going to move that out of the way for a minute so I can move this over. And again, I'm just going to line up. I'm doing the bottom, but you can start with the top and just line up one edge. And just lay it down slowly and make sure it lines up. There we go. Now I got a little bit of white showing at the bottom there, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, so there's that guy. Next, we need our larger piece of Knight of Navy and the largest remaining piece of the designer paper. And these two are gonna just layer. I'll pull this back down so you can see. These two are gonna layer. So I'm just gonna flip this over and put double-sided adhesive around the edge of this one. Like so. I have to say, I really like this pattern too that's on the back of this, the flowers, it's really pretty. And then this gets centered on our piece of Knight of Navy. There. Okay, and now we need to do our bow ties. So you want your three pieces of designer paper that are the, did I say two inches by one inch, I think? Yes. So they should all be the same size. And for this, we need our bow tie. And I used the larger polka dot tie on this one. Now, I don't know if you can see, I'll hold this up and hopefully you can see, but on these ties, I did stamp in black over top of this just to give it a little bit of definition. So that's what we're gonna do now. So get our bow tie on our block and get our memento black ink. Well, you know what? I forgot to stamp inside the other card. I'll leave that up to you. 
So on this one, my original one, I put a little bow tie inside. I forgot to do anything this morning. So put a little something inside there just to make it fun. I'll leave it up to you what you wanna put in there. Okay, back to our bow tie here, black ink, and then center that on one of the pieces of paper and re-ink our stamp. Do the next one. And it's not gonna show up really well. It's gonna be a little difficult to see, that's okay. We're not trying to have this really stand out. It's just gonna add a little bit of definition to this. And last piece, clean off my stamp. Get my ink out of the way and put my stamp away. There we go. So I think on the red is the easiest to see. So you can see there's the, the tie, bow tie stamped in the middle there. So then our dies, we need this larger of the bow tie dies and we're gonna use this three times. So cut out all three of our bow ties. Put the first one lined up here. Put the second one lined up here. Okay. Nope, I think that doesn't move. Nope, we're good, okay. Line that through. There's tie number one. Toss the scraps to the side. Second piece. Put this in here and center it. Line it up nicely. I apologize. It's a bit fiddly having to use the same die three times, but I think it's worth it. And there's our second tie. And one more time. And there we go, run that last one through the machine. Okay. Throw the scrap paper off to the side and there. I'm just gonna set my die back with the other stuff. <coughs> Pardon me. Shanna, good morning. Did you do your live this morning, Shanna? Are you done already? Okay, so we have our three bow ties here and we're gonna put them on this piece and we're gonna put them on dimensionals. You can organize them however you want, depending on what paper you used. I chose to go red, red and blue and blue. So I'm just gonna do the same again. Flip these guys over and put a couple of dimensionals, just one on each side of the bow like that. Okay, so I'm gonna start actually with my middle one, which is the one that's sort of red and blue. It's actually Cajun craze as we learned on the last card, but it looks like it's red. So there we go. I'm gonna start with this one that's gonna go in the middle because then I can just get this one centered and use that to get the spacing for those. If I'm trying to do this and leave even spacing for the other two, it gets a little bit, you need really good eye coordination with that. <laughs> yes, there is a benefit to being an hour ahead of me. <laughs> okay, so we'll get that guy centered on there and then grab the next one, take the backing off the dimensionals, maybe. There we go. This is our red one. So I'm going to put it up top. So now I'm just going to center this next one between this tie and the edge of my designer paper. And that's what I meant by making it a little easier to figure out the spacing. There. And I'm kind of trying to line them up, but you won't be able to get it exactly. Well, I shouldn't say you won't be able to. Maybe you can. Maybe you're better at it than I am. I can't get it exactly. Okay, and then this one, we're gonna center between the middle tie and the bottom of the designer paper. About there. Okay, so now 
Um, I think we're just going to set that aside for a second and we'll do this and then we can kind of play with our spacing a little bit. So we're going to do the sentiment, the happy birthday to you. There. My block, oops. And my ink pad. And get my nice, I'm just using the Memento black ink again. And center that on my last little piece of white cardstock. There. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to put this up close and see. I got too much ink on the stamp. So you can see the top of the B, there's no gap there. So I'm going to clean off my stamp. And then I'm going to ink it up again, but I'm not going to press so hard this time. I just press too hard on my ink pad and that's what can happen if you if you really squish your stamp down on your ink pad you can end up with too much ink on your stamp and then your image or sentiment isn't really clear so we'll try this again that's why cardstock has two sides that's better okay get my ink pad out of the way before i end up wearing black because you know i'm wearing blue today i don't want black and put that out of the way. And then this is just going to get put on with double-sided adhesive onto the last little piece of Knight of Navy. Preferably right side up. There we go. And put that centered on there. Okay, so now let's get our pieces. So we have our card base with our designer paper our Knight of Navy panel with our ties and our sentiment. And so we can, if you really want, it does fit. If you wanna go this way, it does fit to go that way. If you wanna do something a little different than what I'm doing, I'm gonna just do it the same way that I did the first one. Maybe, do I wanna put it that way? You know what, I'm gonna make this one this way just for fun. Okay. so. Now we can kind of get our spacing and get happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna flip over my sentiment and put double-sided adhesive on the back of my sentiment piece. And I'm just gonna kind of put my thumb and finger on there to hold that because I haven't glued that down yet. And then this, oh, I've got a bit of glue on the bottom of that, there we go. So there we go, we'll hold that guy like that. Uh, There-ish, and now I can kind of get this where I want it. So it's centered between this panel and the edge of the card, like so. There we are, and now we'll take our tie panel, flip it over and put double-sided adhesive on the back of that. Maybe being uncooperative this morning. There we go. That's got it. One more piece down here. Okay. And then we'll just get this centered on this side of the card. About there. Okay. And there is our second card. So there's the the two layouts for that. So you can decide which layout you like better. Probably could come up with more layouts if you stop and think about it for a minute. But anyway, there's the two kind of obvious layouts. And so this, once again, is what we made today. So now we're ready to go for Father's Day next month. I really like this, uh, this suite for that. Um, it is in the January to June mini catalog, which runs until the end of next month, June. So it's available as a whole suite for another, what is that, five, six weeks, something like that. Um, after that, the designer paper will be retiring. The stamp set and the dies um, are in the new annual catalog. But for the moment, the designer paper is only available as part of the January to June mini catalog. So once it sells out, then it will be gone. Well, thanks, Glenda. All right, so there's our Father's Day cards ready to go. Um, next week, 
I will be doing um, paper pumpkin. So at 10 o'clock next Saturday morning, I'll be here doing the May paper pumpkin kit and chewing my bubble gum that came with it. That's kind of fun. Um, and then next Saturday afternoon, so Saturday, May the 29th, starting at 1 p.m. is my catalog launch. I know it's a little late. The catalog's been out since May the 4th, but that's okay. Better late than never, as the saying goes. So starting at 1 p.m. next Saturday, I'll be on live at 1 p.m. And I'll kind of do a walkthrough of the catalog and show you some of the, the products. And then there's going to be a video every hour. So 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., and 5 p.m. I'm going to take a short dinner break. And then I'll be back live at 7 p.m., kind of do a wrap up. And there's prize draws to get um, credit towards orders. It's going to be lots of fun. There's a treasure hunt through the catalog. So go have a look at my events on my Facebook page. And that's got all the details. Have a great week, and I hope to see you next Saturday. Bye, everyone.